Well, welcome back. My uh, through holes have cured. Oh. Looks pretty good. Now, I didn't I didn't talk about this in the last video, but uh, there's two different ways of putting down the fiberglass when you do something like this. One is to start with the biggest piece and slowly build up with the smaller pieces. And then the other is to start with the smallest piece and build out that way. Um, I did it with the biggest piece first, down to the smallest piece. Uh, what I've read is when it comes time to come back and fare this and you know, sand it down, get everything smooth, if you did it the other way, you're grinding through some the biggest piece first and leaving a big hole in the middle of it possibly. And there goes, you know, assuming you get the biggest piece on really well when you do it this way i'm just grinding off the edges of each of the smaller pieces and they're still solid competent pieces all the way through so that's why i did it this way um i've i've read both ways really it doesn't matter that much but that's the way i went the way i did and let's get this satisfying It's better than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a big divot there. It's not bad. And my tarp is still bedding down for weather. And that is sealed up good and tight. So today what I'm going to do, we're going to start with that crack. First I got to clean up my area so I can get at it. And we're grinding, and we're grinding, or to come. Still at it. side of the front done. I'm a mess. And this much of the other side. Let's see down below. So the question remains, I gotta be able to sand under there. I'm not going to be able to get it with the grinder. I'm going to have to hand sand it. So that's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, so I'm down here under the boat, under the keel. And this is where the two sides... Oh, let me back up here. This is where the two halves of the keel come together. And then there's this seam that they filled in with something. I don't know what it is they filled it in with. But I have a new theory about what's going on with the crack down here. Because if we move down to the crack, well actually even, let's just avoid. But down to the crack here, um, I think it might be just dried out because it's been out of the water so long. And this filling, I'll see if I can get to show you. On the underside of the boat. Let's see here. Right there. It's a good size hole where that, it, that filling is just falling apart. Um, and I'm wondering if it's just because it's been out of the water now for four years, that it uh, it's just drying up and crumbling out. Now I found the same issue in the 
Found the same issue in the, um, that probably look great. I found the same issue in the rudder. And that, that where the two halves were put together, there's a seam and that caulk material just fell apart. So I'm rethinking that this has frozen and expanded. I'm thinking it just deteriorated. So I'm still doing what I'm doing because it is exposed. I'm gonna chip away the loose stuff, fill it in with epoxy, and then wrap fiberglass. And that'll, that'll build up the strength of the whole bottom of the keel too, so. Same plan, just uh, thoughts different on the uh, issue. All right, starboard side. I got down as far as I could underneath with the grinder. Got a hand see on the rest. And port side. I don't know how far back I'm going, but I mean, I'm still seeing issues underneath all the way back, even in this area. So I think I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna do the whole thing. And I don't think I need to go too crazy with the numbers, number of layers of, I got nine ounce cloth on hand. Um, I'll do like four, five, six layers, something like that. All right, we're getting going. I got my pieces cut out. All my epoxies measured out in there. I wiped her down, at least the front section. That's all I'm working on at, the, at this point. And I went through, and hopefully you can see. Filled in with thickened epoxy all the gaps. She's all wiped down. Uh, mix up the first batch and start laying it up. All right, three layers of 10 ounce cloth. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to put more layers on. I would, I would love to put more layers on, but this is such a pain. It's, um, in order to get it to stick, and I'm doing this alone, of course. So in order to get it to stick to this side, in order to run around and get it to the other side, I had to use, uh, well, first I wet it all down and I thought that would hold it, and it didn't. It kept falling off. So I uh, used some slightly thickened epoxy and gooped it up a bit, and that, that helped hold it in place, give me enough time to go the other side and put it up on the other side, and I did that three times. So I got three layers of 10-ounce cloth and a lot of epoxy on here. Um, I, I, I may be done. I don't know. I don't know what, what my... I'm done for the day, I guess I should say. I may put on more layers. But I think the bottom came out nice. <laughs> 